what is up you yes you you wonderful person stepping by to watch this video check it out we got free room today started off with episode one very slow start saw a little bit of potential we saw that she's an elf and so she can outlive basically anybody she comes across although we don't really understand everything just of yet obviously as the series plays out we'll be able to see exactly what is what but we saw that she went on a quest with a group of companions we saw that himmel died of old age we saw that hater was the priest he was old and we saw that i eisben or eisbein or eiben the dwarf he even said he couldn't swing an axe like he used to this is all the types of things that we saw we saw how emotional it was just the fact that she does outlast everyone and so to her time 10 years could be a day but right at the end we saw that hater the priest the corrupt priest said that he wants her to take another young girl under her wing named friend she had a lot of magical potential so we'll see what happens with that she was able to really hide her mana anyways if you like my type of content hit the like button subscribe for more do tons of videos all the time every day and hit the notification bell because that's what goes with the subscription anyways let's just jump straight into it free run beyond journeys and episode two and three we're doing a double episode today let's go it's friday okay so here we go long range magic is a combination of three key factors essential to mages okay so she's actually training her now interesting so the firing strength was lacking because remember she shot out that projectile but it fell short it'll take years to master but watch her do it immediately oh they're fishing as well oh wow so the one thing that most people have trouble with she's actually good at so that will work in her favor but i i believe that there's something here that makes me believe that she'll be an incredible mage wow the food looks excellent i also like the style that it's drawn in you know it's very movie-esque you know if you had to watch an anime movie you would see this type of drawing this animated style Heights is just getting older and older. But like I said last time, I don't know how he's still alive, you know? Himmel seemed to be younger than him back when they first journeyed. And he's still going, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Bro doesn't want the veggies. What do they call it? Phytochemicals. <laughs> four years so that's the thing that's the one overlaying sort of aspect about this show is that they're moving through time very fast oh right so that's the thing oh he's oh no he's done so that's the thing he gave her that grimoire and essentially he was saying that it's got resurrection spells and if i remember correctly so does he wanted to use it on him but i really think that oh wow that looks a lot stronger oh you can see how long the hair is four years she still hasn't hit the rock so what I was saying is, if one of her companions die, I think that she'll be able to just now have like a resurrection spell, you know, like in any type of video game. Oh, so this is when she was alone. Because remember, he said she was an orphan. I lost an old friend. Was that Himmel? Never abandon anyone who is in need. Oh, so this is his way of actually giving back because he actually looked up to Himmel. I think he must be talking about Himmel because he's the only one we really saw that passed away. Wait, maybe the friend was her dad. Who knows? So is she saying that she's going to leave her now and like do whatever you need while I decipher this? And she's just going to get stronger. Remember, like I keep going back to, the time is the difference, right? To Freerun, she's just deciphering this grimoire. And time will go on and on and on. And you won't even realize what's actually happening in the human world. Obviously, we can use Haiter as sort of a gauge. Because, you know, he doesn't have a lot of time left. But, you know, oh, she's gonna get it. What? You know, imagine she took the whole mountain down. <laughs> she deciphered it. Oh, wow. All that for nothing. He wanted her to spend time with Fern. She made it in time. So he wants her to probably journey with her. 
Oh yeah, right, because he said that the first time. So that was the whole thing. Corrupt priest back at it. Because <laughs> he knows he's going to die probably. Wow. Fern has been ready to say goodbye for some time now. She's become so... She's become so open now to actually cherishing memories with people off the Himmel. Which is kind of interesting. You know, it took the one traumatic experience to make her realize, you know, there's this... What would you say? I don't know, I can't really think of it now. But there's this preciousness to life. And just because she doesn't die, that doesn't take away from the fact that others experience that. We all get old. That's the thing. Oh, she hit it. As you can see, it is a very slow start. There's this, oh wow, pour one out for the dead homies. This corrupt priest. He did say, enjoy a drink at my funeral. What is that? Pumpkin. 26 years. Okay, right, because it was 20 years when she first met her. So this is six years. So it was four years that we just saw with her training. So this is two years later. Because I was going to say 26 years if it was like from when Hater died. Like that was, that'd be too fast. That's too fast. So when she's trying to learn all these spells and things, it's essentially just because it's a hobby. You know, it's it's not about trying to be the most powerful. You know, like most people always have that agenda where it's I want to become the most strongest mage there ever was. Wow. So this is when the herbalist was a little girl. Wow. Oh, that's him all. Wow, so that was our first small glimpse at a monster. We saw those giant dogs, but we haven't really seen any real fights. <laughs> 18 hours to choose a pose. Wow. Alvin Mage. Oh, that's her, obviously. Oh, right, because in her head, well, maybe she knows that elves can live that long. I don't know. I'm just, I'm guessing as it goes along. A spell that produces a field of flowers. Incredible. Blue moon weed flowers. You're hiding something. <laughs> the squirrels. They're seed rats. <laughs> I've never heard someone call a squirrel a seed rat. What is that? Giant tortoise. So like I said, very slow start to this. I mean, look, it is only the second episode, but still very, very slow. And that's what sort of makes the, when there is a lot of action and fights and you see the story unfold, that's what makes it even more intense because now you really feel invested with the characters very early on. You know, you kind of get to see their reasoning behind everything that they're doing very early six months now crazy maybe we should broaden our search area instead of giving up i mean this old lady's probably gonna pass away as well and when they find it she's probably gonna pass away that's normally how it works right like oh let's, i want to go show the lady and then you know she's lying on the floor or something Oh, so that's why she doesn't agree. She should use her power for, like, for good and not trivial things. I wonder if those are seeds for the blue moon flower. Or maybe it's just coin. Wait, what? A related species. Okay, so it's not the same thing. Now she's... Remember she told Hater, don't pat me on my head? <laughs> now that's what she's doing. Oh... The rats. Seed rat. Oh my goodness. What? Is that because it ate it? Oh, she probably cast a spell to track it. Interesting. Wait, what is this? I wonder if that's a statue of her. Oh yes, we saw that she could levitate before. I wonder if she was, like, worshipped at a point. 
you know what i mean like in a town or in a time a long time ago it almost just seems like she doesn't have a purpose you know what i mean she was living a certain way then himmel complicated how she was gathering spells and stuff and so now that has become for the last 76 years that's now become the thing that she does just because one person said so oh they're gonna find the blue moon and just watch when they get back to the lady she's probably gonna pass away or already have died oh my goodness a whole field of it well patch whoa the way she just levitates like that is crazy oh so she actually didn't die i think enough people have passed away at, at least this point you know and that's it that's episode two like i said extremely slow i actually did see at some point that they were saying that the first four or like when they released this they released like a two hour movie or something and this makes a lot of sense if they did that because i could imagine just one and two seems like the beginning of a movie you know like you wouldn't expect in the very first hour to be having this crazy fights and all these types of things but i do feel like now it's gonna pick up like it, it would have to otherwise it would be a really slow series but let's just jump into episode three of fear and beyond journeys and 27 years after the death of Himmel. So this is basically six months after the six months that they spent looking for the blue moon weed. But we've got a ship here so have they moved on to a completely new town? okay replenishing the supplies so obviously they're in a new place herbs and stuff <laughs> buy something we don't need <laughs> oh she's gonna tailor and the thing is her she's good at suppressing her manner so she wouldn't even be able to detect that she's close so it's almost like free and even though she's one of the endless she's still a kid if you know what i mean because now as friend gets older it's like she's becoming the adult now and now she's seeing how free Rin is like such a kid you know just collecting any spells just buying anything that's not even necessary she should just ask the lady, right? Like, what did she just buy? But then she probably would lose track of her. Unless, I guess that she might have bought a gift for a friend, you know? Good desserts. <laughs> I wonder if I'm right about this. If she actually is buying the dessert for her. Scumbags. Or maybe just arm wrestling or something. This is the first type of bandits that we've met. What? Okay, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to see what happens. But it's extreme. It's a different pace compared to all the anime I've been watching this week. You know, how crazy things are. This is a completely different pace. So I have to actually... It's funny, like, I have to actually adjust to it. Because, yeah, I'm, like, waiting for, you know, a crazy fight or something. I think Castlevania will, will do that to you. Just, you know, check it out somewhere up here. okay because that's the thing i mean i'm gonna probably keep driving that fact home but you know she doesn't know that people actually pick up what she says sour grapes are great alcohol <laughs> pancakes it was a gift it's my birthday today what are the chances of that what is that like a thing for your hair okay i was right hopelessly dense <laughs> bro she's even nearly the same height as her now but that's the thing if the journey doesn't have any purpose then it's like a wasted life you know at least for friend for fern i mean fern can just fern i mean can just go around collecting odd spells just doing whatever but if you go on that journey with her you can end up being old and ah i just said that but you know you're gonna be growing old without having done anything this is 27 years okay honestly now i would like to see something give me something more oh are they actually gonna have a duel okay this is what i was looking for let's go oh a shield defensive spell wow look how powerful that is 
Oh, she can divert it. Wow, she even missed her on purpose. Crazy. I aim for the gaps in your defense. Oh my goodness, dude. Freerun is so strong. Because that's the thing. You only see her collecting like these odd things. But you know that she's got a lot of power. Okay, the nice little, little, bit, little bit of a teaser there. You know, <laughs> it's like, man, it's like the people who made this, they know. They knew exactly when I would start to tape off and be like, I need something. And then boom. But then it will go slow again. But I love the, the design of the actual spells of the magic. What's that? A hexagon, right? Five sides. Like, yeah, wouldn't you just levitate over? Okay, so that's the thing. It's more about training to survive. Oh, they know her. Quail was seated. The elder sage of corruption. Wow. Oh, so they sealed him away. Oh my goodness, let's go. Oh my goodness. Crazy. So the seal's gonna break and she's gonna fight him. Wow. Oh, so that's how he's sealed. Well, he looks menacing. So when she says defeat him, does that mean reseal? Or he's gonna break free and then she's actually gonna kill him properly? Oh, she's actually gonna fight him. Okay, let's go. Let's go. He was simply too strong. Right. Zoltra. Pierce not only defensive spells, but the magic resistance of armor as well. Directly targeted and destroyed the body. My god. That's why it backfired on him. Interesting. Oh, right. It's probably all in there. <laughs> Okay, so do you think that, she, well, I'm like, do you think I'm talking to you guys, but I wonder if she's figured something out or if she just feels that she's gotten stronger. This is going to be good. Let's go. And he was only one of the enforcers, if I read correctly. So how did they actually beat the Demon King? That's that's going to be pretty interesting to see. He looks like he's been st like stitched together by skin. Oh, my word. 80 years. A mere 80 years. Man. Oh, he goes straight for that move. But does he not think that people would have improved? Was simply too powerful. Oh, so it's been studied essentially for like 80 years. Oh, interesting. Crazy. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have something else up his sleeve. Or maybe he can just run. But I wonder if he can just learn it. Oh. Oh my goodness. So he's just gonna do it from... You know, every angle. But this is exactly what they were training before. Like, leave no openings. Oh, from above. Let's go, Freerun. Oh, she's using it on him. Wow. Oh. His own spell against him. Wow. Zaltra. <laughs> crazy i hope fern wasn't injured by that okay no wow that was a that was good just a glimpse of what's possible but you know not overboard and that's it wow okay fear and beyond journey's end so interesting what we saw in those two episodes like i said very slow anime that is building up um, a lot slower than everything i've been watching this week and i think that also did kind of play a role a little bit i was expecting to see a bit more but i'm actually happy that you know this is a slow burn as they say we saw that friend or i, I keep saying friend but fern we saw she's um not grown up but
about G16 now and how she's almost taking this role of the adult because Freerun in many ways, even though she's probably thousands of years old, still has this childlike essence and you know she just does these sort of random things like collecting odd spells just because I think it was Himmel who complimented her on that and so that sort of changed the whole way of living. So it's interesting to see how she doesn't, it doesn't seem like she actually has a purpose you know yes yeah, she's an adventurer and things but you know you don't really understand what her ideals are and the reason behind why she does anything we saw that we got our first fight which was a very interesting fight we saw some use of magic where she was actually strengthening the defense of uh, fern and where it actually helped against uh, the demon qual or something he was sealed away for 80 years and she knew she had to come back to defeat him and his spell called Zaltrak, which was extremely devastating back then, killed over 40% of adventurers and 70% of them were mages. But as human beings do, we study things, we break it down, and then it simply just became ordinary offensive magic and it wasn't even that impressive so she was able to block it he quail obviously did see the you know the the weakness in the defense itself that he uses a lot of magic to actually do it so he tried to attack from every angle but that's what she trained fern to do because you see how she was able to de to deflect the first attack but then the second attack she sort of went around into spaces where you know she could attack and so by training that she was able to you know tighten up the defenses as they say in combat sports and yeah in that way she was able to defend his big attack and then you know freerun was flying he wasn't expecting that so i think that's what we saw her learn in episode one where she went on her journey right in the time when everybody got old she went on that journey but then we saw her like sort of levitating so maybe that's when she actually learned how to fly because he wasn't expecting that and she was above him and actually finished him off by using that exact technique zoltra which is you know kind of poetic in many senses but that was it and we saw a lot of the character development we see this dynamic between them but that's i mean that's gonna be it it's something that i'm gonna have to keep watching but i'll keep reacting to two episodes just because they are so slow but that's gonna be it for me if you like the video hit the like button subscribe for more i got many other videos you can check out the first episode that i watched i'll put it somewhere over here and thanks for watching that's gonna be it for me i'm out peace in a bit